Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's not beat around the bush. You've probably already seen that thumbnail and the title of the video. Let's get straight in to the unboxing of the 2023 reissue of the Tom DeLonge Signature Strap. Okay, here we go with the new guitar day and the Tom DeLong signature. Try not to uh, cut myself. Well, oh, we've got a box within a box. It's good to see. Gary in the cats. Moment of truth there. It's been opened already, but I think uh, most of the city music where I got this, open them up and check them and everything. Looks good. Bag time. <laughs> oh, there you go. First impressions, it's very nice. The yellow, I'd seen a lot of the listing pictures and the yellow looked kind of a bit pastel-y, but it's definitely that bright yellow you would expect in person. All right, well, I'm gonna do a bit of a setup and restring it in my view and we'll do some proper first impressions. But yeah, here it is. Graffiti Yellow Tom DeLong Signature. Well, this video is just meant to be a kind of unboxing and initial thoughts on the guitar. And obviously I've gone for the Graffiti Yellow, uh, but you know, before we get too far into what I think about this out of the box, uh, if you are enjoying the content on the channel and you like this video, then please do consider subscribing and liking the video. It really does help the channel out, cheers. So like I said, I've gone for the Graffiti Yellow version. I think out of all of the colors that is available in, this was just the one that really stands out to me. It's also one of the ones from the original run that uh, seems to be the rarest on the market. Uh, so you don't see them, or at least you didn't see them <laughs> quite so much. But you know, they've, they've reissued it in all of these colors, in all of the original colors. So um, I expect we'll see a lot more of these. The original uh, version of this guitar kind of passed me by in the early 2000s. Uh, I've been a massive Blink fan for years, but was never really super into signature guitars, which is crazy now because I've got quite a few signatures in my collection. So yeah, so when I heard that they were going to do a reissue, uh, I was definitely, definitely intrigued. Uh, and just as the hype's built up really, I've got more and more into the idea. I've always loved uh, one pickup guitars. Um, I actually had a Strat project that I never quite finished that was going to be a bit of a Tom DeLonge clone. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my, my thought process behind getting it. So initial thoughts out of the box then. Well, there's a couple of things that I've seen banded around the internet, Reddit and what have you, about the guitar. People complaining about the satin finish on the neck, feeling kind of weird, that kind of thing. And I'll be completely honest with you, it feels fine to me. It feels like a satin neck should feel, so I, I really don't understand that. Uh, the rosewood fretboard, really striking. 
Uh, it's very dark, but it does have this kind of orangey reddish streak. I actually really like the way it looks. Uh, the yellow finish, I was a bit worried because it looked quite pastely in some of the photographs, uh, some of the kind of stock photos, but I think it's that right mix of being on the pastely side because you know the other colours this guitar comes in are mostly pastel colours. Um, but also being you know quite bright and vibrant, it definitely kind of changes in different lighting. Fit and finish wise is looking reasonably good. I have noticed a couple of frets look like they haven't been crowned very well. There's probably been a bit of spot leveling on them where, and then they haven't gone back in and crowned it particularly well. Um, but other than that, uh, I think they've done a little bit of a paint touch up on the corner here. It's nothing too crazy. It looks okay. I can live with it anyway. Some of the saddles have got a few little nicks and dings in them. Um, again, it's not really a big deal. I think there's a tiny weird colour blemish here. But overall, very, very good. I was going to do a restring and a bit of a setup on it before I did any videos, but actually uh, I was quite pleasantly surprised to find it comes with 10s out of the box. Uh, a lot of the time strats come with 9s from the factory and they feel like fairly decent ones. So for the sake of uh, getting some videos out on it, I'm uh, uh, gonna do the setup and my view earlier. The setup is actually really good. I got this from Merchant City Music. I believe they're in Glasgow. Um, the box was opened, so I assume they've had a look and, and just made sure that everything was okay. They may have even done a bit of a setup themselves. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, I think it was a pretty quick turnaround for these. I spoke to someone there and they, they'd only received them like the day before and they were basically having to ship them right back out again. So if they haven't touched it, then the setup's pretty good out of the box. It's nice low action, there's no buzzing. I mean, at this point, I haven't even plugged it in, so... <laughs> Not a lot else to say right now. I think what we'll do is we'll do a, a quick little play demo. Um, and then, yeah, make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to do a full review and demo on this guitar, hopefully, really soon. <laughs> Well guys, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks so much again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe because I am gonna follow up with a full review on this guitar. If you wanna check out any of my other videos, I'll link a couple over here for you to have a look at. But yeah, that about wraps things up. So thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.